keep costs down. We are wrapping up Military Appreciation Month here at News 8. It's hard to imagine, but there are some veterans across our state who have not received the rightful recognition for their service. And that's changing thanks to the help of one man and his full-time job. News 8's Brian Spiros reports. The sound of our national anthem still bringing these three veterans to their feet. But this story actually starts with the man in the front of the room, Wayne Rio, the veterans liaison for Hartford Healthcare at home. As I would go in and out of nursing homes and assisted living communities, I would see all these veterans at the front door wearing their hats and their shirts, and I wondered who's taking care of them. So he began having a coffee hour with veterans across Connecticut, meeting with small groups to talk about their benefits, getting to know each one of them in the process. And it's now ballooned to 60 coffee hours a month. Every day of the week, I'm doing two or three a day. Quickly learning that some of these veterans now in their 90s never received medals that they earned for their service. Which brings us back to this group at Mulberry Gardens in Southington, one of the many ceremonies Rio and his staff put together to make sure each veteran across our state finally gets the medals they earned decades ago. For some, it's just the idea that they're being recognized, uh, they're being respected for what they did. The award certificate. Today, these vets are getting the Connecticut Veterans Wartime Service Medal. First up, Marge McInerney, who served in the Navy during World War II. Well, it's an honor. That's all I can say. It's an honor. We grew up in Waterbury, very patriotic. Red, white, and blue was just part of our life. Edward Talon also served in the Navy during the Second World War. I was happy. Uh, I had several medals before, but I don't know where they are. And finally, Kenneth Leslie, a Korean veteran who served in the Navy as well. At my table where I eat, uh, there were several uh, that had received medals recently, and they really appreciate them. It can sometimes take Rio months to get these awards, as was the case back in February when he presented a World War II vet in Newington with a prestigious French award, one that had to get the approval from the president of France. These medals, a long time coming for people who don't necessarily have many years left. It gives me a feel and a purpose, a sense of pride, and I get to go home and say, I really, I really changed someone's life for the day. Reporting from Southington, Brian Spiros, News 8. And thanks for your service. Mm -hmm. Coming up, a possible breakthrough.